guys, so today I'm going to be doing a bit of a follow-up video to a previous video I have on my channel called Five Books That Have Made Me Cry, or something like that, I guess, and um, it's five books that obviously have made me cry. It was a Top 5 Wednesday topic that I think I did last year, maybe, and I got a lot of really good feedback on that video, and you guys really liked it, so since then, I have acquired a couple more books that have also made me cry. Apparently, you guys seem to enjoy me being sad, so I thought I would show you guys five more books that have made me cry since that last video was put out, and again, I would love to hear all of the books that have made you cry in the comments below, and we can all just be a sobbing mess together. I'm gonna try to be as spoiler-free as possible, but you guys know that it's kind of hard to do when you're talking about like big moments in books that made you cry so I'll try my hardest but you know I'll warn you guys if I'm gonna like expose some huge secret from the book that you're really excited to read that I just ruined so I'll try not to ruin anything let's just get started. The first book that made me cry so much when I read it was actually the first book that I read this year and it's called Me Before You it's by Jojo Moyes and I have a full book talk on this book if you're interested this is an adult book and it's a contemporary and it's so good it's so good and if any of you guys read this book you obviously know why I was crying it's just really emotional and really heavily towards the end it gets really intense and I just was a sobbing mess. This is the kind of book that I literally just dropped it and started sobbing. Um, there's books where, you know, you're kind of just like reading and like a one single tear flows down the cheek. But this is one of those like throwing it across the room, just like bawling my eyes out moments. Um, and I'm no shame in saying that. This was, hit me so hard. Um, I don't know what it was. Well, I know what it was, obviously. I read the book, but it was just so dramatic, and I was a mess for, like, a week. So, yeah, this book definitely made me cry. The next book that made me cry is... It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. This is the second book in the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. I also have a book talk all about this series. If you're interested, again, I'll have that link down below. Um, and this book just made me cry. In the beginning, there's this big part where, again, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's something that happens to a character, not really a main character, but a character that we've really grown close to in the first book, I guess. And there's something that happens to that character, and it's just devastating to me, and it made me cry. And all throughout this book, this character is dealing with so much stuff, and there were so many little scenes that just like made me cry and I don't really know I read this whole series in the span of less than 48 hours so it was just really dramatic I was so into the series so invested in all these characters and I was just crying my eyes out during like the whole of this book basically the next book that has made me cry is Forbidden by Tapitha Suzuma this is another one of those books just like me before you where I just like dropped it and started bawling my eyes out it was really bad. I love this book. It's one of my all-time favorites. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars and it is one of my favorite books that I read last year. I finished it last year in 2014 and it's one of my all-time favorites now and I'm obsessed with this book. It's so good. If you've not read this book, go check it out. I know if some of you have heard about it and haven't read it yet, you might know that it's about sibling incest, which sounds super weird and something that you probably wouldn't want to read about, but you do. You definitely want to read this book. It's so good if you're into YA, you know, contemporary, whatever. It's so good. Oh my god, you guys, it's amazing and it just made me bawl my eyes out to no end again no spoilers but it was so unexpected what happened if you read the book you might know what I'm talking it about. was just so unexpected that I just couldn't help but start crying and I was just like oh my god what it, oh so many emotions so many this is such a good book again pick it up if you have not book in my pile is ugly love by Colleen Hoover this is another one of those books where I basically just started bawling a lot of these are those types of books but yes I just kind of read the part that made me upset, you know, and then I just kind of like dropped the book and I just started bawling my eyes out. This happens a lot with me, doesn't it? Does this happen to you guys? Do you guys do that? Like, I feel like nobody really does that. Like, I literally physically drop my book and start crying. <laughs> I get so into it, guys. I'm sorry. But this book uh, made me cry, definitely. There was this one part where you learn a little bit about one of our characters' pasts and it was just so sad and... I, oh, I just felt for the characters so much, and I was just bawling my eyes out for them, and it was legit, guys. It was legit. If any of you guys read this book, Ugly Love, Colleen Hoover, it's a really great one. Uh, you guys know I love Colleen, so yes, this is a really sad one, but it's such a great read if you haven't picked it up yet. And the last book that I will be sharing in this video is actually not one of those dropping and start bawling type of books, but it's actually a happy cry start book. This is called Attachments by Rima Rao. It was actually her debut novel. I'm not sure when it came out, but... This is about a guy named Lincoln, and um, Lincoln is kind of a struggling character throughout the whole book. He doesn't really know what he wants in his life, and he's just kind of 
you know, unsure of himself. But at the end of the book, he just has this, like, life-defining moment, and... I just was so happy for him. I really grew to love Lincoln throughout the whole of this novel and just to see him get that happy ending at the end just made me so happy for him and I just started crying. Um, it was more of like a couple tears streamed down the cheeks but it was real and I felt so much like happiness just for him and I don't know <laughs> if any of you guys read this book and felt that way towards Lincoln. I don't know. I do love this book. This is my favorite by Rainbow Rowell. If you've only read her young adult books I definitely recommend picking up Attachments. It's so good. Yes, those are the five books that have made me cry more recently. If you have not watched my first video on books that have made me cry, I'll make sure to leave it linked down below um, so you guys can see what else has made me, you know, a mess. I'd love to hear about what books have made you guys cry, you know, whether it was happy cry, sad cry, sobbing cry, a single tear running down the tree while the world's tiniest violin plays in the background. Whatever, you know? I just love to hear about books that you guys like and want to share with me. It's just all fun. So let me know um, in the comments below. And make sure you like this video if you enjoyed. And subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll talk to you guys all very, very soon. I hope you have a marvelous day. Goodbye! You can't take me any color.